I'm Margot Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of Flower Magazine, and I'm here today with Bobby McAlpin, architect, furniture designer, interior designer in his beautiful new home. The work at large that I do is probably more traditional than this. And this house represents kind of a sharp left turn, an effort to create kind of a, a new romantic modernism. Could you talk to me a little bit about these chairs? Because I think they may be Lee, am I right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I wanted to create a line of furnishings that are the character actors in the film. They're not the stars. They are the thing that makes the whole thing work. This very, very thin edge of wood, it's almost like calligraphy. So it's this lyrical line. So this is very much like a little sleigh. There are several new favorites that are in the line. There's a chair that I saw in a movie called Harold and Maude, and there was a wing chair in one of the scenes, and it was ancient and modern all at the very same time. And now that chair has been introduced into the Lee line. I think it might be a good idea, if you don't mind, for us to sort of meander around this magical place. Sure, I'd love to. This is a little uh, stool that uh, Lee makes for me called the Altar Boy stool. Uh, it's based on one that I found a long time ago uh, where altar boys would put their feet on here and sit right here. So clever. What I love about this thing is you can just move it around. We're sitting in this extremely low ceiling here, which is a reoccurring trait throughout this house. It's whimsical and beautiful, and this may be one of my favorite spots, but let's keep moving. We're sitting in the kitchen lounge. This piece is very much uh, along the lines of the things that I'm now creating for Lee in the new line. It is the long, straight, quiet thing that can absorb all of the eccentric things. Could you talk about, I know it's not real, but it is a very realistic looking rhino. Just the enormity of it, you know, kind of, uh, I fell in love with. Well, this is the courtyard, and it's the only really outdoor entertaining space. It's very lively. We know there's a lot of rigor and order to it in plan. The axis of the house has everything to do with the table placement, the bay window, the fireplace behind me. All of those things are so ordered that it can handle this misbehaving bunch of boxwoods. I love a, a dinner table that you don't really ever have to leave all evening. You can spend the whole, so be here for hours. Yeah. And you should always, I don't care whether it's a sofa and a chair inside the house or whether it's out here, I should be able to do this mm -hmm. wherever I'm sitting in that room. Always be that close. That. That's what's nice about a narrower table. Where to next? I guess you could call it the library, but there, it's not so much about books as it is objects that my partner Blake and I have collected and travel. There's this banding on your chairs for Lee. The line of something is more what I remember and relate to than the body of it. So I think that kind of, again, calligraphy uh, kind of exists within uh, uh, some of the things I'm doing for Lee and also uh, all throughout the house. Bobby, thank you so much for sharing your world with us and for describing in such beautiful poetic detail all of your inspirations and also for including your Lee additions to your line. We look forward to seeing those and especially the Harold and Maude wing chair. I might have to have one. Thank well, you. Well, thank you.